Welcome to the top features in Fusion this July release. In this release, we're delivering updates for your team from faster assembly workflows and smarter CAM programming to new tools for managing your data. Maybe you're creating a new kitchen appliance, or maybe you're a tool and die maker working on your latest design. Either way, drop a comment below on what you're currently making. Bonus points if you took an idea all the way from a napkin sketch to tooling design. Now, let's take a look at what's new in Fusion this release. The bill of materials and property management workflows in Fusion have been enhanced to support the new collaborative editing ecosystem. You can now edit properties directly in the bomb table with updates instantly reflected across all areas of Fusion, including the web app, desktop client, home tab, and parts lists. Your team will now have all of the latest information without needing to reload data. Around 20 additional properties have also been added to give you richer, more detailed descriptions of your models. You can also view working models and release bombs side by side, making it easier to track revisions and maintain consistency. This update is rolling out progressively as part of the collaborative editing hubs. The new Constrained Components tool introduces a more flexible way to define relationships between components. Unlike traditional joints, constraints let you apply multiple connections in a single command, streamlining assembly workflows for everything from consumer products to industrial fixtures. Having all these relationships in one place makes your assemblies neater and much easier to modify as your designs evolve. For users switching between Fusion and Inventor or even other CAD tools, these workflows will feel familiar and intuitive, easing the learning curve and accelerating your productivity. You'll also notice a cleaner interface, with joints being unpinned from the toolbar, but still accessible through the dropdown, search, or the J shortcut. This update makes it easier than ever to build, edit, and manage complex assemblies. We have an exciting update for mesh modeling, Mesh Texture Extrude. This feature lets you turn any image into a textured surface on a mesh body, giving you a new creative control over your designs. You can customize the extrusion by adjusting the type, clearance from the edges, blend distances, and more, all from a streamlined dialog with a live preview. The command is located under the Modify panel of the Mesh tab in the Design Workspace. Just note that Texture Extrude is a direct modeling function, available when you're in direct mesh editing in parametric modeling mode or working in direct modeling mode. The Blend Auto-Generated Drive Curves update simplifies creating blend toolpaths in milling. Instead of defining drive curves manually, you can now just select the region to be machined and have passes calculated automatically from the surface boundary. The perimeter sections to blend between are determined for you, saving time and reducing complexity. If you need full control, you can still specify the curves explicitly as before. This enhancement makes programming more efficient and removes the need to create input curve geometry for many workflows. The undercut profile roughing can cycle output update brings more efficient code generation to CNC turning workflows. You can now output profile roughing toolpaths for undercuts in CAN cycle format, creating compact, easy to read G-code that's faster to adjust at the machine and ideal for controls with limited storage. To use this feature, rest machining must be disabled and you'll need to enable allow radial or axial grooving, depending on the cutting direction. This enhancement combines the simplicity of classic CAN cycles with the power of modern toolpath strategies. In our ongoing effort to improve performance in all aspects of Fusion, we've improved performance specifically when working with large face selections in the manufacturing workspace. Whether you're selecting faces individually or using selection sets, you'll notice a smoother, faster interaction, even as your selection grows. Performance now deteriorates much more slowly as you add more faces, so you can maintain those responsive workflows. This improvement will make a big difference in day-to-day -day programming and setup. And that's it for July's highlights. For more details, be sure to check out the blog to see every update note and join the Insider program for even more enhancements. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.